There's another ability I can get later on that makes this easier. But for now... Just a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Screw it. We'll come back later. Seriously, it's though? It's not like, worth it. Hyper fixation, I probably would have stayed there <laughs> until I got it. Ho, 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 ho. This is a good one, Mando. What could it be? It's a Capcom game. Mm. Those are the creators of Mega Man. And this was a Super Nintendo game that I've only played recently. But I used to be a huge fan of Capcom games. Still am. They, they just kind of like... They had a little slump about 10 years ago. And then they kind of like picked back up and had good games again. Well, but that growing just got up, hot real fast. Yes, it did. This is Demon's Crest. Dun, dun, dun. So, we've made some progress. We're now playing our first game on the show from the console that I grew up with, but not a game that I grew up with. Okay. So we're making progress, but uh, this is a Super Nintendo game released in 1994. It has very impressive visuals for the time, very impressive music for the time, a very impressive game for the time. <laughs> I do like the visuals so far. I love the logo. It is very cool. And uh, in the old Capcom games, if you didn't press any button, it would go right into the prologue. Okay. So, <clears throat> legend says the world was once divided into two different lands. One realm was ruled by humans and the other was ruled by demons. That's our main angels character. The angels are just like, ah, fuck you guys. Yep. It's the Infinity Stones. One day, no. six magical stones fell from the sky into the demon's realm. Inscribed on the stones were the crests of fire, earth, air, Water, time, and heaven. Random. Soon, the demons began to fight over these magical crests, and the realm erupted into civil war. Finally, the Red Demon defeated all the others and collected five crests. Not satisfied with the crests of fire, earth, air, water, and time, the Red Demon challenged the Demon Dragon for the Crest of Heaven. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no! Meow! After a long and desperate battle, the Red Demon slayed the dragon and gained the final crest. But the price of victory was high. The Red Demon was critically wounded. Which means... Seriously, I'm sorry. I have defeated the Red Demon. I shall reign supreme. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, oh, just 
be creepier. With the power of the crest, both the demon world and the human world are mine. Da, 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 da. So there we go. That's our story. So we were usurped and lost all of our crests, and now we got to get them back. Okay. And put the pummel on this traitor. Check. What happens when he uses all of the crests? Who knows? 50% of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Mr. Demon, you forgot to snap your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I am inevitable. All right, so let's get right to it. Let's make sure we got our options correct. Okay. Sound mode, stereo, good. And all the key configuration. Okay. Enough stalling. Start this game, yo. Are you a 20th century Russian dictator? I don't know. Why? Because you sure are Stalin. <laughs> so funny. That's a knee slapper. <laughs> all right, so this game starts immediately with a boss battle. I hope that information was all correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, but... Well... All right, so this is... The demon dragon zombie. This is the remains of the dragon that That's we fought. That's a lot of things to put into one character. <laughs> well, a there was demon the demon dragon zombie. Yep. So remember in the prologue yeah, how he the, fought the a dragon. demon dragon. Yeah. Well, this is the zombie of that dragon. He's like, hey, I want my crest back. And just to fight him, you just lure him. You're like, so he sorry, can lower I his lost head. it. <laughs> and then you smack him in the face, and he's like, oh, no, quit you that. You lost it. That's very annoying. <laughs> there we go. Jesus, what? And we start with our first level, the cemetery. Ah, and this playthrough is up, like, right at the start of December. Merry nothing, Christmas, everyone. <laughs> nothing says holiday seasons like, like Demon, Demon Civil War. Civil War. Deck the halls with bowels of blood. La 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 la. Just drag their corpses through the mud. La 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 la. Just deck the halls with bowels from demons. <laughs> -la -la -la. Bowels from demons. La -la 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 -la. But there we go. We cut his head off and we got a health piece. Okay, so this game is a Metroidvania. This is where we're going to be exploring. We'll find some areas that we have to revisit as we gain new abilities. Uh, another um, name for the Metroidvania. The Metroidvania is the fan name. Whereas okay. the official name that Nintendo coined for their new Metroid games is Explorative Adventure. <laughs> That's sure way to... less copyrightable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we're going to smash ourselves some gargoyles. And this guy's name is Firebrand. He was a he was a monster in the Ghosts and Goblins series, oh. but he's the main character in the Gargoyles Quest games. There's three of them: one for the Game Boy, one for the NES, and this is the last game in the trilogy, Demon's Crest, for the Super Nintendo. He almost gotcha. I don't know if I would have liked this game growing up because I feel like it's it would have been too difficult and confusing for me. Yeah. Because it's not just a straight select level, go to the next level. There's a lot of back and forth. There's a shop. I do really like how he hangs on to, like, how he grabs the side of things. Yeah. Like, he gargoyles on him. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. See, Wesker, that's what gargoyles means. That's what it's supposed <laughs> to look like, dude. He's like, listen, I can only poop one way, and I, I don't know how to do it any differently. And this game has a lot of boss battles, too. We're about to start another one. This is the Hippogriff Gargoyle. Like Harry Potter Hippogriff? Kinda. Though it looks like that. Okay. I'm on board. <laughs> so right now, all I have is my little fireball. My, my little pew pew pew! Ah, crap. Get out of my way. And I can hover indefinitely. Oh, come on. 
I think I can get him. He's got me in the corner. Woohoo! All right, all right. And now my reward is another health upgrade. No. Hooray! Hip hip. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so continuing on. So is this 16-bit? Yep, this is 16-bit. So what's interesting is I, sh I shoot above. <laughs> I just want to smash that base. But I can't aim the fireball. It always shoots straight forward. Can you jump on it? What I'm going to try to do is that. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. There's another ability I can get later on that makes this easier. But for now... Just a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Screw it. We'll come back later. Seriously, it's though? It's not like, worth it. Hyper fixation, I probably would have stayed there until <laughs> I got it. Oh, yeah. Nah. Eventually, I give up. Especially when I'm recording. I'm just like... Oh, yeah. What's that? That took a minute? Alrighty. Tune in for the next episode. <laughs> I did that, like, at all needed to climb this wall and it took me no joke like 45 minutes to climb the wall damn just because like i kept falling off come on there we go oh and it gave me nothing nice how kind oh cool all right so that is an empty potion jar when i go to the potion shop can i can fill them potion, up yeah. yep i like that in theory but I can never find more empty jars. Oh, okay. They are hidden. I believe there's like, because when I when I pause the game, I go to like my main menu and it shows like all the items that I'm going to have and all the slots that I have unlocked. And I think it's like five slots for like your abilities, for your spells and for your potions. And also the crests. Because each time you gain a crest, Firebrand changes form. Oh. Yeah, so he's going to have, like, different power-ups depending on the crest he has equipped. Whoop, careful. Okay, don't stand on those, because they'll disintegrate into spikes. And that's no good. <laughs> oh, there's a health power-up. But as you can see, my little fireball is can't go through that, so we're going to have to come back here. Now, that is what's called Metroidvania 101. You see something, you're just like, okay. You have to take note. What I'm doing right it. now doesn't work. Mental note, come back here when you have an ability that, let's say, gets that rid of work. those blocks. Yeah. Okay, so this guy, he's pretty cool. This is Arma. Hmm. I've watched your progress, and I'm glad that I shall be the... Jesus Christ, press down! Uh, one, to put an end to your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. I will be your executioner. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Again, this is a demon civil war, so, like, every demon for himself. Hey, it's just bold of you to assume. I mean, they are demons. They are a little cocky. Great, kid. Don't get cocky. But don't worry. The bosses are still, ouch, relatively simple. <laughs> They'll nick you, but they're not that difficult. Come here, you. Fireball! No! I got a fireball. His is more like plasma! <laughs> Here, eat plasma ball. Ew. I just pictured, like, human plasma. Oh. Uh. Just coagulated into a ball. I mean, that's definitely demonic. So one of the nice things, especially with Capcom games, is you can tell a boss is almost dead because they will change color. So he's going to turn orange, then red. See? Okay. And that's when you beat him. I, did he just laugh or is he crying? Yeah, he laughed. You do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about. I look forward to our next encounter. Here, practice with this. 
You have found the crest of Earth. With it, you can morph into ground gargoyle and gain great speed and the strength to break stone statues. I just had PTSD of being in church. <laughs> okay, so this is called Mode 7. This was a, like, like a semi, semi 3D feature used with the, I believe it was called the Super FX chip that allowed you to, like, pan over maps and, like, it's used in Star Fox. It's really cool. And that is how you go from one level to the other. Is okay. You, you actually fly to them. Okay. In these Mode 7 levels. Neat. This is a mini game that's hard as piss. Yeah. Me and my sister used to be altar servers at church. Mm -hmm. And during the one prayer, we would always, it was time for like all of the people to kneel. Mm -hmm. So while the priest was standing up giving this prayer, like we would all be kneeling and... Uh, the way that the altar was set up, I was on one side, she was on the other side, and we would always look at each other and try to make each other laugh because mm -hmm. that's what we did in church. And um, she would always mouth exactly what the priest was saying. Oh, my. And it took so much to not crack. <laughs> I can st I haven't been to a Catholic mass in more than 15 years and i can okay. still like through him with him and him and the unity of the holy spirit <laughs> like it's ingrained into my eyelids like and oh, i can oh, still oh. just see her mouthing along yeah this is hard so basically i have to headbutt these skulls and if i think if i destroy 20 shit i get a prize so this is just to show you how the mini game is uh towards the end of the game I'll keep practicing until I get it right, and then I'll show you the one I got right. Because <laughs> this is and this is the easy mode. There's three modes: oh. easy, normal, and difficult. Meanwhile, that demon is just scratching his belly. Yeah, he's like, mm, "Looks like you need more practice." Try again for five GP. All right, give it a shot. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Nope, already off to a bad start. There we go. Cause like you gotta position yourself right with your jump. Ugh. So you gotta jump at the right height. You gotta press the headbutt button at the right time. And your timer are those torches. When the last torch okay. goes out, time's up. Gotcha. But like it doesn't keep score for you, so you gotta be like one, two, <laughs> three. Come on. I was gonna say, can you just go indefinitely? Or do you have to like... It's five gold pieces each time. Okay. So like I just ran out of time. Yeah, it looks like you need more practice. Looks like you need to suck my balls. <laughs> Cause yes. I'm out of here. All right, let's go to the next area. To the abandoned town. And this is where we'll find our shops. Okay. Dead people hanging out the windows. Good sign. <laughs> yep. Good sign. Property taxes must be low. That's the currency. So I can smash windows to get more. Ooh, that's health. Sometimes you just want to do a B and E. Okay, watch this. This is ground gargoyle. Nope. Okay, I didn't actually equip it. This is this is These ground gargoyle. Are not spirit fingers. There we go. These are spirit fingers. Okay, so this is how we do ground gargoyle. He can charge. He has a ground attack, but he cannot cling to surfaces like Firebrand can. See? Okay. Haha. -ha. Can't get up there yet. Nope. Can't even ram into it. All right, so we don't have the ability to take care of that yet. After all, we only have one of the six crests. I'm so mad, I'm just gonna keep breaking these windows. <laughs> I'm evil, get it? There you go. 
headbutt the door, and that's how you go. You know, and the shopkeeper's like, "Are you the asshole that just broke all my windows?" Welcome to the wise man, a shop of spells. All right, so because I have an empty parchment, I can buy a spell. Okay. There's shadow, hold, imp, shock, and death. Click on them and they'll give you like a little description of what each spell does. Mm. So I get a little imp helper to serve me for a limited time. Shadow, a barrier of darkness will surround and protect you. Will you buy the spell? Your vellum is already full because I bought imp. So I need another vellum to buy more. Okay. Hey you, I haven't seen you around here before. It's hm. just chilling. Are you a stranger here? Uh, yes. They say that the red demon known as Firebrand has risen. He nearly burnt the demon realm to ashes years ago. You know what I'm saying? If Phalanx had not rescued us, we would all be dead thanks to that arrogant fool Firebrand. Take care of yourself. Hmm. The gossip in this town is outrageous. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue more, and I'm going to show you the next shop in the next episode of Demon's Crest. Toodles!